Hello everybody, Grayson Blazer, we're back with more Gold Rush. Let me tell you, Christmas already happened, but it's coming again. Because, let me show you something glorious. I went all over the place just digging randomly, just to see if I could find some better spots. Mother of God. To the fourth parcel, or parcel, whatever. Look at this, so we're over here right now. I do want to dig a little bit more. There's an area right over here with some fantastic levels of gold. I've got it highlighted right now. Remember, we were digging in like the 111 to 124 area, and we were pulling up just a ton of gold. Over here, we have 164 to 159, and look at this pocket right over here. It's a 3x3 three three grid of insanity. 200 in areas. 192, 189, 204, 198, 203. This entire 3x3 three three is, is where we're going to park. Like, after I dig this area completely out, we're going to go ahead and move ourselves over here. There's a water area right over here that we can hook up. And we're probably going to have most of our Tier 3 stuff pretty soon. Because realistically, if this has 23,000 grams of gold in here and we get most of it, that's going to pay for everything. Like, very, very quickly. And you saw, the last time we were pulling stuff out of here, we were getting a kilogram of freaking gold per shot through the wave table. And that was with like 115 or 122 grams per meter cubed. Now we're talking about 200, almost double. This thing's going to be going freaking insane over here. Now all that's really good as well because we're going to need a lot of money, obviously, to get tier 3. But also, because remember... There's a new piece to the tier 3 that we don't have yet. We never got it. It's a brand new tumbler, I think it is. And, go ahead and put that over here. We're already making gold, by the way, because we had pieces in here that we hadn't spent for the last time. And, oh, I don't think that my... Oh, that's interesting. I had another area over here toggled. I think it's this area right here where there's extra gold, but it looks like my toggle went away. But anyway, on top of that... There's also an extension that you can put on over when you do your tier 3, which means even more gold. So we're going to be setting that up as well. All right, there we go. We got our square toggled now. That's what I like to see. Let's go ahead over here. Start things up a little bit. Here are the roar of the engine. We're going to want everything, too. Like, I'm going to want our, uh, the fuel, the giant fuel bucket. We're definitely going to want that. Because we, the things, they, look at this, we're already almost at empty. They burn through a lot of fuel nowadays. And that's appropriate. I mean, they should be burning through a lot of fuel. I don't feel sore about it. It just means that we're going to need the fuel, uh, the giant fuel tank a lot faster than before. Where do I want to park this? I want to make sure I can dig and then swing around right in about the same area. Yeah, see, so we need to go a little bit further out. All right. I think this is going to do it. Now, we're going to have to go through, I think, a pretty big piece of topsoil to get to the real good stuff. Yeah, look at this. There ain't crap here. Literally, there's nothing. Down to 3.4.9 meters, basically. So, we're going to have to get through all the crap to get at the sweet, delicious gold all the way at the bottom. And there is a lot of sweet, delicious gold. Now, one of the things that we can do is we could probably come up the side over here. We've dug out a little bit. Now, we should be able to get through this dirty topsoil pretty quick. Because as you can see, I've got us set to a spot where we can just go in, go down, grab the dirt, come up, come over, drop it off. It is a freaking system over here, baby. We are moving quick and in a hurry. Now, we could probably get a second mobile wash plant. But I fully believe that we're going to have the full tier 3 wash plant way before we need, we need to mess with that. Alright, so the question I have here is are we going to get any gold at all? Because remember, the top portion of the dirt is just absolutely terrible. Let's go ahead and turn that off over here. Grab this. I gotta make sure to not fall down that hole. My life is going to suck if we end up going down that hole. Over here. Is this on? Yep, looks on. Go ahead and throw it on in over here. Clean all that magnetite out. Again, not getting a ton of magnetite, but I'm not going to cry myself a river. It'll be fine. Magnetite is no longer the main method for generating revenue. Now that we can do things and get a kilogram of gold a shot, this is the way to do it. Again, we're going to have to get through that top first. Like right over here, watch this. Yeah, look at that. Garbage. Terrible. Compared to what we were getting, that's basically nothing. So let's keep digging on down and see if we can find any better. All right, we're starting to dig down. 
which I'm pretty happy about. I don't know if we've reached the four meter area yet, but we're digging down pretty good. We're keeping up with the amount of dirt that's processed by the mobile wash plant, so that's pretty good. And we've got a cool little, that was a terrible scoop. I was gonna say, we've got a cool little pocket going on where we're kind of like getting underneath the earth. So it's getting a little bit easier to grab it. You can see like our, our bucket kind of rides up the side over there, which is kind of nice. I am going to have to move ourselves a little bit though, because I'm finding it harder and harder to get like the legitimate correct amount of dirt. See how it's not really a full bucket? That hurts us every time it's not a full bucket because it means that I have to go back over here and there's going to be dirt that's not being processed while I'm trying to grab more and more stuff. There we go. That was a full bucket of dirt. That's what I like to see. That should get us right up to about 41 or 40. Yep, right over there. 41, just barely. Let's see if we can get another jackpot of, of dirt over here. There we go. Now we're starting to get it a little bit. It's so weird how the dirt goes into the bucket. Sometimes it almost looks like you're going in with a, with a ladle or something like that, like a spoon ladle. Because it just kind of fills up. See how it fills up on the side like that? It's so weird to watch that happen. Alright. Right over here. Turn the gas off because we're almost out. So I'm going to try and conserve as much as I can. And there we go. 100%. Go ahead. And... Alright. I can do it that way too. Uh, I meant to hit the button, but I guess this also works. Oh crap. I just took the water out. Mother of God. There. That's all I wanted. I just wanted that to happen. Okay. Over by the magnetite separator. Right off the bat. Man. We're actually filling up with magnetite pretty quick. What are we looking at gold-wise over here, boys? Four, uh, 2671. All right. Eh. Again, we definitely haven't hit the sweet spot yet. If we hit the sweet spot, we'd know it. Like, it would be jumping up. You guys saw, like, 40, 50, 100 grams at a time. We're not there yet. All right. Another bucket. What are we looking at? What are we looking at? 2788. Eh. Nothing. Nothing big. Again, not really not really paying any kind of bills or anything yet. We're digging down pretty far. Uh, I have a feeling that maybe we're just starting to get to where we need to be, though. We definitely have to go down much, much further still. All right, the grand pit of gold and dreams is getting deeper and deeper. Just the way I like it. Go ahead, put the gold inside. I think... I don't know, man. It's pretty close. I think we might start seeing some results now. I'm not 100% sure. Let's go back over here and see what we can get. We've only been getting, like, what, maybe 100 grams per bucket right now? Again, like, it's so crazy to think how different some of these areas are. Because if you had seen that, like, when you started the game, like I had, you'd be like, man, that's not worth it at all. You'd be playing this game for 100 grams of gold and, like, work your ass off for an hour for 100 grams of gold. Oh, yeah. You can see, it's not it's not quite what we're looking for yet, but look at those numbers grow, baby. Now we're starting to get somewhere. Now we're starting to get, like, what you think? Maybe three or 500 grams per bucket right now? It's still going. It's actually still going. Okay, there we go. Finally stopped. But yeah, that was way better than anything that we've had so far. Now, one of the things that you can do, I don't know, understand. I'm not a, I'm not a heavy equipment operator. I just play one on YouTube. One of the things that you can do to get nice and deep into these holes I found is to get, you know, like the bucket of your excavator down a little bit and then open it up. I'll, I'll show you what I mean. So, see how we're inside right now? Go down, 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 and then swing it out as you go down. It's kind of hard to do in steps. I kind of do it in one fluid motion. And you can get these deeper pockets like that. I don't know if that's a technique or something like that. You guys are going to have to let me know in the comments. Is that like a legitimate technique or is that just something that every guy operating this type of bucket should be able to do with their their vast amounts of training and certifications that I clearly don't have. Late at night, chupacabas are out in there, have you? Go ahead and stop all this over here. The jabberwockies and the jackalopes and the jack wagons and all kinds of crap is out here. Wow. These were both at 100, so the generator uses a lot more fuel than the uh, water pump, which I kind of expect, but still. All right, this was a pretty deep dive over here. We have gotten some deep scoops on this one, so I'm hoping to see our best payout yet. yet. Let's go ahead and put this over here. Bring, well, yeah, I'm going to keep that off right now because we're going to go to sleep after this bucket, I think. All right, 89%. What kind of jip job is that? Give me them numbers. 3462. 
Where are we going from here, boys? 3462. So 3462 already passed 300, already passed 500, already passed. Well, can we get 600? There we go. 600, 700, 800, 900. Oh, 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 oh yes. 3462 to 47? 47. 47, 8. Wow. Okay. We're doing pretty good. That's, I think, going to be it for tonight. Now, we, we got to make sure to turn all this stuff off. If you don't turn all this stuff off, you're going to wake up in the morning and all your crap is going to be completely out of fuel. Luckily, I've got a couple of jerry cans sitting around inside of our trailer over here where I can fill everything up. Anyway, I'm going to hit the hay for a little bit. I'll see you boys in the morning. Rise and shine, boys. Rise and shine. The evil music still permeating through the air. What I think that will do is there's my happy-go-lucky music. What I think we'll do is since we've managed to penetrate deep into the ground over here, we'll do one more bucket. That should probably get us to maybe 6,000 grams of gold. And then it's going to be time to head on over to the blacksmith, get all this stuff me melted down so we can sell the bars. And we should be able to buy basically all of the tier three, I think. Oh yeah, we're getting deep, baby. We're getting real deep. Real deep. Watch the deepness. You ready? Look at how deep. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we're clipping right through the freaking planet. <laughs> we're clipping right through the planet. Realistically though, that's good. Because that means that we're down probably right around where we want to be. For those really, really good pockets of gold in this area. Now remember, I think this one is what? Like 150, was it? The other ones over by that other water source or 200. So we're gonna be looking for one third more gold per processed bucket at the very least. I can't wait for that. That means that we should get right around, what do you think, two kilograms of gold per bucket, I think? I think we're starting to hit rock bottom on one side because I'm starting to go down low and I'm not getting any dirt. Now it could just be the angle that we're going in at. Sometimes that'll happen. Oh man, I tell you, I love bright, beautiful, sunny days like this, where the sun is shining. Gold, like the nuggets that we be pulling out of the freaking ground, baby. 73%, like I said, this will be our last bucket for now. Now some of this probably won't be as great as some of our other uh, scoops because we're starting to go up to the side a little bit. I wonder if the map updates based upon how much gold you've taken out of the area. Like originally this was, what was this, like 20 something thousand grams of gold. I'm curious if it still says that. Actually, I guess let's go check it out while we're at it. Uh, right over here. Yeah, it's definitely going down for the gold that we've taken. So it does count that. All right, you boys ready? 99, come on now, get it there, get it there, there we go. All right, well, again, I keep, I guess, I mean, that is one way to turn this thing off rather than trying to get that tiny little ass button over there. All right, let me go. Can I get around this? I'll fall into the pit. Okay. Almost went flying into the nether realm. Right over here. We're at 100% magnetite. Again, I don't really know if I care. I could bring the magnetite trailer over. Magnetite compared to what we're doing right now is a very, very little amount of, of money for the effort that we put in. All right, 90%. Let's see what we get. Uh, 4762. Here we go. 4762. All right. Already passed 300. Yeah, well, we're past a lot more than that now. 600. 4762. Past, past a kilogram. All right. 1.2. Right around 1.2. Okay, so not too shabby. All right, let's take our gold and get to selling. All right, over by the blacksmith. We have, uh, I think this is our biggest haul of gold we've ever had. I'm trying to think, but I'm pretty sure it is. How much does it kind of cost to melt all this down? That's not that bad. Actually, there's almost six kilograms of gold for us. How much money will it all be worth? How much? It should be worth a pretty, pretty penny. Now, I don't know. I know we'll be able to get all tier three. I don't know if we'll be able to get the conveyor belt, though, because if you remember the conveyor belt, well, actually, all the new stuff is, like, sickeningly expensive. It looks like that gift regenerates itself over time. 
We apparently left some objects over here in the middle of the road, too. I'm going to have to deal with that in a little bit. All right. Buy my beautiful gold bars. Eh, $269,000? I don't know. I don't know if that's going to be enough. Uh, it's been a long time since I bought all the tier 3 stuff, so let's go... Well, hold on, while I'm here. <laughs> I guess I should probably get all this crap so that it's not just, like, sitting in the middle of nowhere. Put you over there. Gotta fill her up. Someone sent me a, uh... Someone sent me, like, a Twitter picture. It's like, real men make it fit or something like that. It showed the... It showed old Grey... Not at all being safe... <laughs> by having... About 6 billion things... All inside of the truck and on the truck and in the trailer and everything. Freaking magnetite separator sticking out all over the place and wave tables and whatnot. All right. Head on over here. And now. So this is, is this the new item? Yeah, this is the new item. $111,000 for this. Is this, okay, that's the DLC. There should be a new, a new rock thingy. This is going to be DLC as well? Yeah, it sure is. Look at the size of this freaking trommel. Holy crap. Uh, all right, so DLC. I can't wait for this stuff to come out, too. It should be coming soon. D-Rocker. Right over here. I don't know where the hell it goes. I don't know if it if it sits in place of... Let's see over here. Is your old shaker only suitable for scrap? No, go to the next level of sifting and buy the D-Rocker. We guarantee a lot more profits. Okay, so that instead of the shaker. So that's fine. This one was 22. This one's 67. But I want to see what it does. Brand new rocker. Look at all the stuff that we're going to have soon. Freaking gravel pump planter. This stuff's going to be freaking awesome. Going to need all these different bajillion sluice boxes. The conveyor belt costs a freaking arm and a leg. So we're going to have to get that a little bit later probably. We're going to need all these. So let's go ahead. I'm going to have to buy all these over here. Need our duplex jig and everything else. Now I'm curious. Does the new shaker have a different set of these? It doesn't look like it does. I'm not seeing anything else. We need the duplex jig for sure. Go and grab that over there. And let's just double check over here. Oh, the thing looks freaking sweet. <sighs> oh, big power generator. 124,000. We're gonna have to probably dig a little bit more. That's for damn sure. Uh, let me just look around here a little bit more. We're gonna need the regular trommel over here. There we go. And that should be everything. I can't remember if I bought this or not. So I'm gonna go ahead and buy one of these real quick. We can we can check our uh, at our checkout area and see make sure that we have everything. And we're gonna need an extra three hundred thousand dollars about for everything else that we're gonna need. I will say. This, this drill has been amazing. It has been the single most important thing I've ever bought. Because again, it is the difference between getting like 100 grams of gold and freaking, you know, a 1,200. All right. 141,000. Very well worth it. Very well worth it. What is this over here? Duplex jig sluice box. Yeah. I think everything's where it should be. It's just going to be a pain in the ass putting it all together. That leaves us with $127,000. Can we buy this for that? I have a feeling, oh man, that, that leaves us with nothing. So that's not what we want to do. The big fuel tank we could buy for sure. Uh, the big fuel tank we can buy for sure. How about this stuff over here? I don't know, I'm doing, well, 30. Now, now we can't really get both those yet. Let's grab the fuel tank because we're going to want it for sure. Uh, it's just going to make things a little bit easier over here. Oh, and remember, we have to move all this stuff, too. So that's going to cost some money. Okay, let's start checking all this stuff out. Bring it all over to the other claim. Set it up. Oh, I can't wait to use this freaking thing, too. Oh, it's going to be amazing. I don't even know what it does, man. I don't even know what it does. It doesn't even say yet. But I want to know. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The sluice boxes and stuff like that. Oh, crap. I'm moving them all over to old Arnold Parcel. Luckily, it hasn't cost too much to move it on over. Mother of God. That's all right, though. Let's move it over here, Nighthawk. It costs upgrades just to get these items over here. Look at this. For some reason, the sluice box counts as machines. What a bunch of crap. I've been slaving away over here, dealing with the biggest pain in the ass in Gold Rush. Moving all the crap over into the Tier 3 area. Devs, if you have a Season 3... Do not make me buy this stuff all over again. It was okay working my way up. 
It's the installation that's a pain in the ass. Like, I've done this once already. I don't really care to do it again. Now, to be fair, there is going to be an instance probably where, like, let's say they come up with an even new parcel. And I want to buy that. Yeah, I'm going to have to reinstall the stuff over there. I totally get it. It happens. But when I had it once already, and then I had to rebuy everything and install it again. Actually, the installation, I'm getting pretty good at the installation. You boys, just wait. Just wait over here. Wait till you see this. Wait till you see this expertise. This level of, of freaking Minotaurian skill and agility. First things first. You want to put your goo right around there like that okay no big deal go ahead and get on out i'm using i can't remember if i'm using the four meter ties or the five meter ties don't get the huge long ties because it'll be an extra pain in the ass if you do i knocked this thing over unfortunately not not on purpose i kind of did it by accident i think i threw a trommel into it or something when i was moving everything around i don't do everything Super, super, like, uh, uh, in order. I just kind of, whatever's nearest, I usually just grab. I will say, if you're doing this for the first time, do the sluice boxes first. Uh, if you do the sluice boxes first, your life is going to be way easier. All right, let's go ahead and kneel on down here, for the love of God. Connect, connect. You know you want to, you scumbag. There we go. Because the problem with the sluice box, if you don't do them first... You have to kind of, like, maneuver them underneath other things. Oh, crap. Do I have this all jacked up and backwards? I do. Hold on. You have to kind of maneuver them inside of... Uh, what in the hell's going on over here? You have to maneuver them... <laughs> it's Jeez, I don't know my own strength. Inside of all the different trommels and stuff like that. And it could be a little bit more annoying than if you hadn't done it that way. All right. Now that we got everything set up over here, yank it on up. Flick your, flick your doodle on out like this over here as far and as wide as you can get it to go. And as you see, if you do it like so, things are nice and straight, man. They are nice and straight. Now, it gives you a lot of leeway. I don't, I don't know if the leeway has gone down or, or up over time. I can just tell you that as long as you're, like, in the vicinity of correctness and your object, like, touches... The area where it should be, it usually just drops in on its own. See, right over here, we're going to have to drop this down. Now, oh, crap. I can't tell which way is which. The little nosy thing is on... Is the little nosy thing on this side? I'm pretty sure it's on this side. So, hold... Oh, mother of Jesus. Okay, all right. Everything's going to be fine. Even though we're at kind of a little catty corner over here, watch this. We're still going to be able to do this. All right. Now, you know what? You can even switch over into your diggy cam. And if you do it like this, it's not too bad. Over here to the digging area, let us go ahead and uh, move it on over, lower it on down. And we may have to back up a little bit for this. There we go. Look at that. Like, it's no big deal. I told you, you just got to kind of, like, get it remotely in the correct area. And usually it'll be pretty good. All right. Now that, that, big, that big rocker that we just bought is last. Actually, I think there's a couple more pieces. The way it worked was, it was counting all this stuff as machinery. When I think of machine, I mean, I guess it's a machine, but... When I think of machinery, I always thought of, like, these excavators. And, and the dump truck and stuff like that. Because the cost to upgrade your claim to handle more and more machinery gets extremely expensive. Like, right now, I think I'd have to pay, like, 30 grand... For the next level, you can see we're only at ten thousand dollars right now. Like I'm gonna have to dig big time and get some nice fines to make sure that we can get some money. Otherwise, we're gonna end up not being able to pay all of our friggin' employees. I'm lucky the game is glitching out when it comes to uh, how it takes money away from us. All right, let's go ahead. We're gonna go in this way over here. Just kind of swing it around like so. I'm very curious exactly how much, and the problem is, too, is we're, oh, mother of God. Oh, we don't want that. Has one of our things, like, connected itself? Look at that. It's, like, stuck in the freaking rocker. Hold on. Let me, uh, let me go ahead and lower this down here so we're going to be able to reach it. The reason why you got to lower it down like this is so that you can physically, like, touch it as a human being. All right. I think I got everything all set up. There's a little, there's a freaking water pump under there, I think. Oh, whatever. All right. I think I got everything all set up. Let's check it on out of here. Get it nice and lined up. 
All right, bring it on up like so. Extend our arm. Now you can use the bucket itself to lift things up even further if you need to. All right, well, this is a cumbersome piece of garbage. Let's see if we can put it into the appropriate spot. Now, as you can see, I basically have it lined up already. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, this is totally unplanned like this, but whatever, I'm happy it worked out this way. It's swinging a lot. All right, now let's just ease it in. If you need to get it up a little bit higher, you can actually use this portion of the bucket and you can actually bring things up even higher if you want to. So it allows you to get a little bit closer, especially when you're coming in at kind of like an angle. Wow, I had no idea it would be that easy. That's freaking fantastic. Oh, let me turn this crap off over here. Oh yeah, oh look at this thing. Oh, it looks friggin', it looks friggin' majestic. Yikes, this is what I'm talking about. We need two more things. Well, we need one more thing to get it operational, the ST sluice box. But the big fuel tank, look at what it costs to upgrade now. 34 friggin' thousand to upgrade that. All of our boxes count as one machine. I don't know if I'm okay with that. That seems a little bit excessive, especially considering how high the prices go on upgrades and how quickly they go. But uh, let's make a little bit of money here because we're going to need a bunch of cash and well first off to be able to afford our next pieces But also to be able to afford just to survive the night as we pay our people It's already 3 p.m. Right now like 3 30 p.m. So we're gonna need at minimum another what do you think? 300 400 thousand dollars Shouldn't be that bad. Oh, what's going on with the gold right now? All the gold's flying all over the place my money is going all over the place. I don't know how I feel about that. Because my money is going down. Now my gold is going up. But my money is going down. I need to be able to survive through the night. Let's freaking start digging up some gold. You boys know. Time to start making that freaking money pro style, baby. We got to start throwing in dirt all over the place. I actually need to back up. Or rather go forward just a little bit, I think. Hold on. Let me see if I can, uh, see if I can turn myself. Maybe right about there. If I can get right about there, I should be able to get a nice, clean uh, release into our mobile wash plant. We are deep right now, baby. Deep. So this should be a really good bucket. Like, this should probably... This should probably make us a decent amount of money. Oh, yeah, this is the perfect distance, too. We're going to be able to clean this entire area out where we're sitting right now with our excavator. All right. Let's see what our numbers look like over here. Getting closer and closer to the pit, man. It's getting harder and harder to skirt around it. Oh, the end of the day is almost here. We need to pray to God that this turns out pretty good. All right, man. Here's the bucket. I'm, I'm feeling good about this bucket. I feel like this bucket is going to be a strong amount of gold. We're starting from a very low number, too. So I want to get the opportunity to watch it climb. We can go ahead and turn this on. Actually, while the... There we go. While the... Uh, while the magnetite separator is doing its separating e thing. All right, magnetite separator. What did you give me? Over here. 180. Bring it up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. I'm calling it right now. We're going past a kilogram. You boys know for sure. We're at 180. Come on, baby. Don't you make a liar. <laughs> I'm going to feel real bad. There we go. There we go. Oh, it's pumping up hard now. Yeah. Yeah, there we, oh, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> it's like 13 grams below a kilogram. All right, that's not bad though. A couple more of those and we'll probably rack, wrap it up for the night. We'll get a little bit of cash though. It's gonna keep us steady. So we can take the time to get the rest of the money that we're gonna need to finish off tier three. Now the other thing is, is I believe, I'm not 100% sure on the day, but sometime this month, that other DLC stuff is going to be releasing, and there is so many other objects. I can't wait to use them all. They're going to be freaking amazing. Remember, it almost cost a half a million dollars for that one giant Frankenstein thing. I am looking forward to it, though. Gotta hope you enjoy Gold Rush. Until the next time, stay foxy and much love.